Yoshin, you're quite a private cat, but do you occasionally like to converse with others? Cicero said, Silence is one of the great arts of conversation. I concur with Cicero. Hi, I'm Paul, he is Yojin, and welcome to One Minute English with Spivatic Language School. Today it's another Chinglish lesson, so we'll be looking at a typical mistake a Czech person might make when speaking English. So, what's the verb we use in English that simply means to have a conversation with someone? Converse. Not conversate, just converse. Let's look at some examples. The Czech office worker wanted to improve her English, but was frustrated that she didn't get much opportunity to converse with English native speakers. Or, the elderly woman next door was so shy that people found it difficult to converse with her. Or, Tony, tonight I'm going to my second evening class on how to converse with women. Yeah? That's great then. What did you learn in week one? That I shouldn't say Tony so much on a first date. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea, Dan. AC, any advice on how to converse with women? Um, I'm not actually sure, guys, because I'm just a bit cold in here at the moment. Oh, okay. What do you think makes a good conversation? Let me and Yojin know in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See ya!